All right, so this is, as you can see, a pre-alpha demo. As you can tell, it's also the first publicly available build of Headless Jeff 3. And although this is an exciting milestone, it is just that, a milestone. The demo showcases some of the fundamental gameplay mechanics and aesthetics of Headless Jeff 3, but does not remotely represent the final product. As a result, things will likely break in comical fashion. We're used to that around here. Should have seen last week. <laughs> uh, we're actively working alongside the community in order to improve and expand upon the presented gameplay experience. If you wish to keep, if you wish to help shape the future of Jeff Three, join us on Discord with the address link there. Enjoy your time in the Mega Center. So, I mean, the main menu looks pretty cool. I mean, you got your your uh, concept art here and everything like that. All right, so we got levels. How many levels do we have? All right, so we got what six? Technically seven. With the level zero is a tutorial, but we're gonna play the tutorial because a second person, second person view is gonna make things a little interesting. And uh, let's just actually try to get back into the groove of things. And all right, so we gotta retrieve your head and find the exit door. Rotate head with Q and E. Okay. Uh, scan for key objects with R. Okay. Left click on security cameras to change per perspective. Is your uh, security cameras? Already, it's kind of like you're 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 looking at it. It's blowing my mind. It's like I'm used to like. First person to third person, not second person. Second person is a completely different bag of worms. All right, so now we're on our body. So of course, you know, you start with the simple stuff first. I'm gonna see where my body is. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's nice little mechanic there because uh, yeah, your head's moving, but I was very close. Uh, I see. Okay, so you can't. You have to take your head with you. Yeah, it, it can be a little cumbersome at first, but I mean, it works out. Uh, yeah, and you don't want that to happen. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, this is going to be interesting. I guess I am on a high wire. Uh, this lies Jeff's head from the sleeping magnet. Ah, uh, I'm on a magnet. I see. Okay. I get it. Okay. Now, of course, with each level, it's getting... The difficulty is starting to ramp up a bit. So. Oh. Like I said, <laughs> difficulty is ramping up. All right, this one looks a little bit more complicated where oh i'm gonna have to get up above i'm gonna have to get through that gate go up over the boxes and the exit is right there okay all right <laughs> we'll take a little breather here man Kind of gets makes you get uh, your palms all sweaty. All right, so we gotta jump three boxes, and then we'll be good to go. One, two, three, four. God, oh, my God. Oof. That was some next level crap. And that was all of the levels. Holy crap. That was a that was a fun game. It's just like how I originally would how I felt playing like Portal or Portal 2 and trying to figure out the you know, the puzzles to get from point A to B and from point A to C really. But this one made it kind of a little bit more complex with the second person aspect. Because your your view 
is kind of not changing, but you had to figure out where to send your body and not get vaporized and how to figure out the puzzles. It, it's kind of, it's a nice wrinkle in the game to increase the um, complexity of it. Overall, I liked it. Um, a couple things is the music has a nice, you know, the old timey stuff on it. Uh, it did get a little repetitive, but you know what? This is the, like the pre-alpha demo. So hopefully whenever the full release game comes out, uh, it includes a little bit more tracks. Maybe each level has a different track uh, or multiple tracks of music within each level. So other than that, I mean, it was a great game. It's going through these these levels here. Um, yeah, Mad Laser Turret Lab. I, I'm I'm thoroughly I'm thoroughly impressed. I I, I love the game. Um, yeah, the aspect is how to do like I keep harping on the second pa uh, second person view aspect of it, but. Like I said, it it adds another uh, what's what's the word? I, I'm I'm blanking on the word here, but it adds another level of complication to everything. It's just not you know uh, shoot here and then shoot over here. And then it's linked and linking up the two. It's more of a you got that aspect, but you also have to figure out where to go when your view is stationary or in the case of your head uh, being carried on the conveyor belt constantly moving so again that is I can't I can't wait to see what the other levels I, mean, I know just in these six uh, yeah, six levels plus a tutorial and at the last one at the ramping up of the difficulty was that intense okay I'll, good on you guys I'll give you that so uh, thank you for joining me tonight this was this was Headless Jeff uh, 3 uh, is it is it Headless Jeff dash 3 or is it just Headless Jeff uh, definitely would love to know how to say the name so I don't get it wrong but you can find this over on Steam I'll have the links to the Steam page within the description of the video down below. And um, yeah, next time, uh, if you want to check out another video of another indie game spotlight, it's going to be right over there. And uh, click on that video. And I'll see you over next time, next week. Have a good night.